right, I'm back in town. I'm not entirely where I was before. I've, I've gone exist. kind of a different path. Oh, I thought I went right. this way before, but apparently I didn't. So here's a guy that has a shop. Greetings. I am Kagan. What can I do for you? What kind of shop is this? I run an escort business. I hire mercenaries to escort car caravans en route from um, to Baldur's Gate. Right now I'm looking for some strong sword arms and I'm willing to pay high. It seems that one of the caravans under my protection never arrived at Baldur's Gate. And I need to know what happened. You look like a strong group of warriors interested in a job. Um, not right now. Well, if you're not here for a job and you don't need an escort, why don't you get the hell out of my face? All right, so we'll be back for Kagane probably. If um, you insist. Yeah, I definitely have gone a different different route uh, than I did before. What is this? Burning Wizard. Um, so I, I don't have the fourth party member right now. I kind of, I, I just need some, some resting. So that's what I was kind of looking for around here. Uh, the Burning Wizard probably isn't the spot for me, but let's see what it is. Very well. Zerlong's here. I I had my old tobacco pipe. Dead blasted hobgoblin bullies pulled the boots right off my own two feet and headed into the Badlands right south of Baragost. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces to show them who's boss and get those boots back. Hey, isn't that Keldath Omler? He, he took 25 of my gold. Pesky thief named Zerlong has been pickpocketing me every time I try to get a word in Edwige. Edgewise, but I'd rather rather not call us cause a scene. He did mention so, losing some boots to hobgoblins in the Badlands south of the city. I get the sense that returning those boots to him may be the only way to make peace. I have my money returned. So long can be found at the Burning Wizard Tavern in Baragost. So much for that. Why well, it's been getting prickly on me, Oz. Uh, our Smith Tarum's been hit pretty hard by the iron shortage. His prices have only gone up because of it. Normally, he is so reasonable and works and better work. You won't find anywhere. If you need what any weapons or armor, he's the man to see. Uh, there are many rumors around Baragos about the scarcity of iron. I don't think I got that quest before. Here's a bartender. You want some whiskey? Uh, what services do you have to offer a weary band of travelers? Been a few days since I've seen as many strangers as you brought with you. Hope the town treats you kindly. Um, let's do peasant. Recuperative benefits, you will get what you pay for. Merchant, noble. Let's do a noble. These rooms are of excellent quality at a somewhat reasonable price and a definite luxury for those accustomed to sleeping under an open sky. None but the most pampered dandy, dandy would have complaints with these accommodations. I need to rest so that my, my wizard gets health back. He got hit on the path over. I need the inn first thing. It's probably not a good sign, but he's all healed up. Um, and then I could drink, but I am, I'm fine for now. Um, I, I got all right, all like right. one or two books, but I didn't get the same amount of books that I got before. All right, before I talk to him, let's quick save. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Hail adventurers, I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. How would you like a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Uh, tell us more. I'm Garrick and I work for the Silke... Rosanna. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she used to play at Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by Feldpost to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at this at his inn when he was supposed to. When she was supposed to, you can't blame her for not showing up with, with a villain like Feldpost running the place. She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about three hundred gold. What do you say? Uh, why don't you show us to this mistress of yours? I think you've made a good decision. Now just meet me outside the Red Sheaf Inn. All right, so we walk over. Shouldn't be too far. This is pretty close to where I was, right? All right, talk to him again. Yes, sir. This is my mistress, Miss Silke Rosena. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silke, thespian extraordinaire. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, thespian extraordinaire. Silky, apparently. So, Garrick, these are the mercenaries you... Only mercenaries you could find? I guess I'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? 
Offer them 300 gold just like you told me. Well, then I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. You shouldn't be too hard. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with. I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Shit. This is why I quick saved. Like, there's so many things in town that can kill me because I'm terrible because I just started. Here they are now. Fell to post's thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you've asked. And we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up. There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. Seriously. Our deal is off. In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. So now we... So now we're attacking Silky. Go for that. Huh, you're a queer fellow. Hit her with an arrow. You spoke at me. You only have your fist. Why do you only have your Something's fist? Something you. All right. Everybody, just hit her. What? She had a death explosion? She had a death explosion. Very well. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I can't do anything. We're avoiding him for the time being. Let's head up here and get a fifth party member. Maybe that'll help some. And I suddenly don't feel the need to go looting in people's houses anymore. I wonder why that is. You! Hey, you! Yes, you! I don't see anybody else around here. A little help, please? Alright, let's do Nero's thing again. There's bandits. Vicious, magic bandit. My hero. Now, where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need so. We're yeah, we're gonna try to skip through this quickly. Stand aside and give me the. I won't let you harbor. By my right as a wizard of. I say you mean dissect. Come and take her if you dare. Away with you, you pompous creep! Not again. Kendall, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all. You're a queer fellow. Once we find him, what would you have me do? You spoke at me. And then, I think that's everybody. Okay, that worked out very well. Let's, let's hit people. Alright, we got it. We got it done. Everybody's dead. Sorry about what since same thing that we did before fantastic and dialogue just get my well nothing i'm ready to go now uh, yeah the journal does not like update properly like add entry and then i can write in but it like yeah, it didn't add in properly all right i'll take these go suck your blade i don't know why he selected, well. but we have that done. Let's drop another quick save. Apparently, I'm gonna have to do that pretty much every time I talk to somebody. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I'm not going into to people's houses as much anymore. At least not here, because there was not much for me here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with that one. Because I feel like she died, and when she died... Bad things happen. All right, we'll try it one more time. One more time here. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. We're gonna try it one last time. If it if I die when she dies again, because it's like ten damage, then uh, we'll just call it. But 
Like Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Yeah, at this point, I'm kind of sunk in here. Okay. Uh, st we're still not going to kill them. Hurry up! I want to put her to sleep. What you want? And then you're good. Be good. Why doesn't Monteron have something? Uh huh. So she's taking a ton of damage here. Monteron immediately. I never loved you. All right. So this is this is indeed possible. If I can get the. Um, if I can get the sleep off, Hello right, there. like I'm supposed to, I have a pretty proposal for you. then I can do this. I might also want to try the Red Sheaf in. Like, it all depends on whether or not I can get somebody to sleep. And I can only do that, like, once a day. So, yeah, I don't know. Get in here. Get, like, right on top of her. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Despin extraordinaire. That's nice. No. And now it's now it's time to take you out. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. You spoke at me? I don't know why he doesn't have anything. Something troubling you? Unless you have a spell. Minor drain. Your voice is ambrosia. Uh huh. What is this? Reckless Dwarmer? What is this? This spell is the Wild Mage Ultimate Last Resort spell. When cast, the mage releases a sudden flood of wild magical energy of hope of seizing and shaping the energy into a desired spell effect. The attempt usually fails, but something almost always occurs in the process. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. It sounds bad. So I'm just gonna have her attack. What is it this time? So it appears that Silky is just too strong for me right now. All right, all right. So we will avoid it. God. Everybody is too damn strong for me right now. Let's try to head into this inn where I know there's an assassin waiting for me. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Uh, I hope you've the will to back up those words. Aye, that I do. The will and the way. Shall we get to business then? Hopefully. What would you have me do? Cast sleep on him. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This go, way. yeah, go over there. You spoke at me. Something troubling you? If I must. Uh huh. Mommy, I don't feel so good. Yeah, he got hit hard. Your voice is ambrosia. Get I'll out of there. This better be good. What you want? Did my spell fail? Yeah, it looked like it did. I haven't been able to land that yet. Like, I can't seem to get him. Yep. My blade will cut you down to size. Everything misses. Saves me the trouble. Everything misses. All right, let's try to get some upgrades for my party. This is starting to get ridiculous. All right, here's a courtesan. I'm a fine-looking strumpet, ain't I? Wow, I'm no angel, but I've spread my wings a bit. That's 
That's good to hear. Are you interested in some thrills, darling? Too many girls follow the line of least resistance, but a good line is hard to resist. This has felt the posts in. Here now, get out. I don't like your typing here. Okay. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Fine. I'll go. Very well. All right, all right. So I'm this looks. Yeah, those are those are not courtesans, they're whores. There's a difference. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be going into people's houses anymore. It doesn't appear to be the good way to go most of the time. What's in here? That's somebody's house. If you insist. Thought it was the uh, the blacksmith I was looking for, because there's no like signs for a lot of these places. It's supposed to be west of town. I clearly need the upgrade. This isn't it. That's like outside of town. I need some weapons for my people. Um, what would you have me do? There you go. Hurry up! He's got like three of them. Just equip one. That was your problem before. What would you have me do? If you insist. Yeah, I might not be the best at this game, mostly because I have no idea what I'm getting into, and then geez, like anytime I talk to somebody, it seems like they're out to kill me. Like I can't talk to anybody before I quick save. Because I, I need experience, and it seems like uh, unless I try to talk my way out of fights, uh, they're not really going to let me win any of them. Jovial juggler. It's not really where I wanted to be. Shouldn't be this difficult to find the blacksmith. They told me west side of town. Maybe they were lying. And nobody's out this late. That's locked. Thunderhammer Smithy, there it is. But now that it's night, I'm not sure that he's gonna let me in. All right, there we go. Very well. Thunderhammer Smithy, where be the Smithy? Is he asleep? All right. Can I rest? Not the ideal situation, but we're figuring it out as we go. I need weapons I and serve shit. The flaming fist. We do not tolerate vagrancy in the streets. If you need to rest, you find many friends have me and gladly have you. If you insist. Fine. I'll go back to an inn somewhere. Not that one, though. <laughs> There's death in that one. The burning wizard was one. I just rested too, right? But not good enough. Very well. You want some whiskey? Peasant, please. We're just doing this to uh, to wait until morning. Hopefully nobody gets mad at me for it. As far as I can tell, it's not a problem. So I have like two right, thieves right. with me. All right, so west side of town is apparently like here. So let's head in and hope for the best. I, I need upgrades for everybody. I need health. I need so much in order to tackle any of this stuff. I need experience though. It's kind of all a right, big thing right. right now. Right now I just Speak need to up. hit. Speak up. Hello, Fred. What can I do for you this day? Um, no need to trouble yourself. I'm just browsing around your smithy. I've heard much about it. 
Oh, it's no trouble at all. You could expect nothing but the best in service from the Thunderhammer Smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tehram himself. Oh, that's Tehram over here. Kiss me, Blarmy. What you wish done? Not doing that accent either. Could you show us what you have for sale? 